Hello and welcome to Law Logical, your weekly dose of the basics of Indian law. Whether you're a legal professional, a law student, or simply curious about how our legal system works, you're in the right place. We aim to make the law easy to understand, and today's video is crucial for anyone interested in civil litigation. In today's video, we'll take you through an overview of the 18 stages of a civil suit as per the Civil Procedure Code, 1908. This is essential knowledge for anyone involved in legal proceedings or looking to understand how civil cases are handled in India. And stay tuned. Each of these stages will be covered in more detail in upcoming videos, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started with the first stage. 1. Presentation of Plaint A civil suit begins with the filing of the plaint by the plaintiff. The plaint outlines the facts, the cause of action, and the relief being sought from the court. This stage is critical because it sets the legal groundwork for the entire case. 2. Service of summons on defendant. Next, the court issues a summons to the defendant, notifying them of the suit and requiring their appearance. This ensures the defendant has a fair opportunity to present their side. 3. Appearance of parties The parties appear in court on the specified date. If the defendant fails to appear, the court may pass an ex parte decree, moving the case forward in the plaintiff's favour. 4. Ex part Decree when the defendant doesn't show up, the court can pass an ex parte decree, meaning the case is decided solely based on the plaintiff's evidence. 5. Interlocutory Proceedings During the case, interim applications like temporary injunctions or other temporary reliefs can be filed to protect the interests of either party before the final decision. 6. Filing of written statement by defendant The defendant responds to the plaint by filing a written statement. This document outlines their defense and must be submitted within a specific time frame. 7. Production of documents by parties Both sides submit all documents that support their case. These documents are essential as they provide evidence for the court to consider. 8. Examination of parties The court may examine the parties to clarify any issues or obtain additional information about the case. This helps streamline the case and focus on key disputes. 9. Discovery and inspection during discovery, each party can request information from the other. Inspection allows both sides to review the other's evidence, ensuring transparency. 10. Admission Parties may admit certain facts or documents in court, narrowing down the issues that actually need to be contested in the trial. 11. Framing of issues by the court. Once the preliminary steps are done, the court frames the key issues of the case, the specific points of contention that require resolution. 12. Summoning and attendance of witnesses. Witnesses are summoned to court to provide oral testimony. Their evidence is critical in either supporting or refuting the claims made by the parties. 13. Hearing of suits and examination of witnesses. During the hearing, witnesses are examined and cross-examined by both parties. This is where the bulk of the case is argued and evidence is scrutinized. 14. Arguments. Once the evidence is presented, both sides make their final arguments, trying to convince the judge to rule in their favor. 15. Judgment 
After the arguments, the court pronounces its judgment. This is the court's final decision on the issues at hand. 16. Preparation of Decree Following the judgment, the court prepares a formal decree which sets out the rights and obligations of the parties as determined by the court. 17. Appeal, Review, Revision If either party is dissatisfied with the judgment, they can file an appeal, review or revision to challenge the decision in a higher court. Finally, execution of decree. The decree is enforced. If the losing party doesn't comply, the winning party can initiate execution proceedings to ensure the decree is carried out, whether by seizing property or other means. And that's a brief overview of the 18 stages of a civil suit in India. Each stage plays an essential role in ensuring that justice is served fairly. In the next videos, we'll dive deeper into each of these stages. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching Law Logical, and we'll see you in the next episode.